Praise the Lord, everyone. Happy Friday. and Welcome to Morning Prayer and Devotion. As we share praise reports this morning, prayer requests, and spend a time of the, together in devotion and prayer, and I so greatly look forward to this each and every day. Evangelist George Arnold reports that his mother, Brenda Fraser, who we've been praying for daily, is home from the hospital. Her kidney function has gone from 17% to over 50%, and she hasn't had to take any insulin now for six weeks. She is a walking miracle, and he thanks everyone for your prayers. The test results on Beth Wheatley's knee showed that surgery will not be required, and she is very thankful for that, as you can imagine. Beth also reports that her burn wounds are continuing to heal slowly, and we do want to continue praying for her that she will not have to uh, have wound care involvement in that with a wound care specialist that that will heal on its own. Judy Williams is asking us to pray for her mom who will be having surgery April 19th to remove a basal cell cancer from the top of her nose and that is going to require skin grafting. Peggy Sue Fiedler has an unspoken request. Regina Marlin has unspoken prayer requests for her family members and her granddaughters especially. Uh, Judy has a special unspoken request for her son, and the Vaughn family has some unspoken needs. We need to continue to pray this morning for peace and comfort and strength for the family of Reverend Gerald Sawyer as he passed away this week, and his church family, the Antioch United Pentecostal Church, also needs our prayers as they navigate through this um, heartbreaking situation. In our spiritual needs today, let's remember Michelle Clark and family, Judy and Mike's daughter Jennifer, Judy's brother Louis, uh, Lori Arbo's mother, Debbie's daughter Jamie and family, Debbie's niece, Peggy Fiedler and her family, Caroline Sexton's family, Josiah, Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Barbara Owens, Haley, Evie, Con Connor, Carl, and Rose are needing salvation, Sylvia's family, Tasha's husband, Adam, and sister Heather, our Mingo Job Corps students, Pam Pulliam's children, Mark and Caitlin, Beulah's family, Carmen's daughter Grace, Art Chandler, and Terry Adams' children. We need to continue to pray for all those who are struggling with mental health and emotional issues. We need to pray for Dalton Stewart for recovery uh, from addiction. Uh, Nathan needs healing of depression. Elizabeth Riggins' son, Patrick, needs continued prayer. Um, Pastor Mark Tipton needs prayer today as he ministers to the homeless communities in the Decatur, Alabama area. We need to continue to pray for Corbin Van Winkle. He's one of our Job Corps alumni. He has an upcoming job interview with the Howell County Sheriff's Office on Monday of this next week. And so we need to pray that that will go according to God's will, that he'll be able to uh, get his car fixed up and, and get some things uh, straightened out with his work situations. We need to pray for Paul and Darla Brochu, ministers in France, who have both been extremely sick with COVID. Ben Moore, at last word, was in the hospital in Nashville. We need to continue praying for his recovery from COVID. Brother Erickson, Andy Burnett, Donna Luttrell, Del Sifford, James Weininger, Pastor Freddie Wyatt, Don Bowie, Gary and Donna, Catherine and Sister Dorothy Cook have all struggled with their recovery post-COVID with getting their strength back and, and uh, maintaining proper blood sugar levels and that sort of thing. So let's continue to pray for them. Let's pray for those in the nursing homes and those who are shut into their homes. Pray for Bible study in our nursing home here locally today, that God's favor would be upon that meeting. Brother and Sister Perkins need our continued prayers for their healing, strength, and encouragement as they are isolated pretty much to their home with just a couple of family members being able to come in. So let's continue to pray for them. We need to pray for our school systems today and pray protection for the students, teachers, and staff that are there today. In our physical needs, Michelle Walker's grandpa, Gerald Hudson, is recovering from heart surgery. 
Others who have heart issues include Keegan, Everett Hart, Missionary Robin Shute's father, Brent Smith, Ronald Clinton, Willow, Ellis Marshall, which is, who is my grandfather, and uh, baby Elsie, who had heart surgery not too long ago and just has a lot of problems with her heart. Other children that we're needing to pray for today, Abram Page has GNAL1 disorder. Sophia needs healing of her eyesight. Abel Ray needs a miracle healing of PKU disorder. We need to continue to pray for Magnolia and our newest request for Ellie Mae, a, a child who was in a sledding accident. And doctors, uh, at last word, were trying their best to save her leg. Those who are battling cancer, that we have three children uh, in that condition, Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker. Del Bishop has colon cancer and is having surgery soon for that. Phyllis Robinette, Edie Percival, Diane Escher, Versi Gibbs for the Anthony Trimble, Lisa Workman, Evelyn Marshall, David Harris for the Steve Williford, Christy Smith, Ari Bowers for the Kirk, and Brother Kirk started chemo earlier this week. Claire, Kim Stinson, Josh Soberg, John Fitzgerald, Dwayne Lewis, a friend of Terry Adams, Marsha Moore's family member, Wanda Barnes, Michael Boland, and Robert Wicks, uh, who is also having trouble with his heart, uh, being very weakened. Bonnie Chilcutt has been awaiting biopsy of her left kidney to determine whether or not she has kidney cancer. So let's continue to pray for Bonnie until we uh, get an update on that situation. Uh, Tim Workman, Emily Stanley for the Virgil Pulliam, myself and so many others uh, struggle with diabetes. Let's continue to pray for healing. Jen Marlin has dystonia. Leslie Pride and Lana Taylor suffer with dementia. Tim Workman, Beulah Ziegler, uh, my father, Ron Bryant, Russ, uh, all battle with Parkinson's disease. Beulah has been having a lot of difficulty walking lately. So let's continue to pray for that need today. Kendra Ortiz and Robbie Northrup have COPD. Rue is needing to have a double lung retransplant surgery. Marty DeLott and Riley March suffer with MS. Debbie Biddick's friend Shirley and Charlotte Kincaid both have kidney problems. Sister Mara Sullivan has an autoimmune disease. Pastor Ezariah Gorley and Marsha Moore both have high blood pressure. And Marsha has had problems recently with headaches. And she also has chronic stomach issues, so uh, let's continue to hold her up. Others with stomach issues, Terry Adams and Michael Parrott, Cheryl LaChance. And Cheryl has some other needs as well with uh, some kind of infection that's been going on with her heart and other organs. And also uh, diabetes. She had an appointment yesterday. I have not yet heard the update on her doctor's appointment. But let's continue to believe with Cheryl for her healing Bobby Larmy has a blocked artery at the base of his brain. Karen Pratt's father has an aneurysm in his aorta. Mary McPeak is dealing with shingles. J.R. Johnson had a fall on the ice a few weeks back and cut his leg really badly due to diabetes that is not healing well. Shirley Garner, broken hip and fractured back. Renee, hip and knee problems. Pam Pulliam's daughter, Jenny, osteoporosis in the spine and hips. Karen Pratt's mother has a broken chin and jaw bones that she's recovering from. Linda Brown recovering from a broken shoulder. Britt Moore's mother recovering from a broken hip. And Dorinda Shepard recovering from knee surgery and also has a broken, so, uh, broken shoulder. Gary Shepard needs to lose weight in order to have knee surgery. Tammy Lawson, Britt Moore, and James Graham have back problems, as do Terry Adams and Michael Parrott. Um, and Terry has an appointment to see a neurosurgeon or is waiting on an appointment. So let's continue to pray for her situation. Uh, James Graham's grandfather is on hospice. And Bonnie Pulaski, Roxanne Carson, Annette, Regina, and Terry's grandson, Ethan, all have health issues as well. Let's keep praying for Allison, recovering from stroke. And Nick Searcy, who's continuing to recover from stroke and is battling depression due to all the uh, the long-term nature of of his uh, battle pregnancy issues we need to pray about tasha ray 12 weeks pregnant has been extremely sick and weak and has not been able to work for the past month we need to keep praying for whitney 
and for Sally Waller's daughter, who are both going to be delivering very soon. Beth Wheatley's daughter, Mindy, needs continued prayers against any complications in her pregnancy. Austin Alyssa's unborn child was determined to have a heart defect that will require surgery upon birth, and we need to pray for Matt and Michaela as they are trying to start their family. We have several family issues to pray for. Brother and Sister Woody's family needs comfort, healing, and restoration. Marsha has a family situation as well that she wants us to continue praying with her about. Cheryl Chance and her family, Debbie Biddick's daughters, Jessica and Jamie, need prayer for their relationships. Angela Schweitzer has a, a court date this coming Monday in regard to a custody situation, and we want to see her um, uh, reunited with her children. So let's continue to pray for that need. Annette and Dave have marital issues, and Grace's best friend's parents are going through divorce right now. So let's remember all of those needs this morning. I welcome each of you on this uh, Friday morning where it appears we're going to get some reprieve from the near constant rain for the past several days. And uh, it is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in his presence today. Marcia is thanking God that her blood pressure is down this morning and she has no headache. Well, praise the Lord for that. We welcome you today, Marcia. And Kristen, good to see you today, Sister Pam, and um, we're thankful for each of you who are able to join us live at this early hour, and uh, hoping today that we can get through this without having to deal with uh, internet situations. So far, so good. Well, let's go to the Word of the Lord for our devotion this morning as we're talking about um, gaining godly wisdom and if you want to uh, really research the concept of wisdom and uh, bathe your mind in scripture that relates to it, the place you need to head to is the book of Proverbs. And for the next couple of devotions, we're going to hang out there a little bit and just look at some different scriptures that have to do with wisdom in the book of Proverbs. The Old Testament book, uh, Proverbs, has a, a lot of writers uh, that contributed to it, but the principal author was most likely King Solomon, who we talked about yesterday. There are dozens of verses that mention wisdom in this book, and we're going to focus on some of those and glean as much as we can about wisdom. Proverbs 12 and 15, and reading from the New Living Translation, says, Fools think their own way is right, but the wise listen to others. Listening to others uh, brings wisdom. Sometimes we are just simply too close to a situation or we have already decided what to do, but we're wise to listen to the thoughts, insights, and suggestions of godly people in our lives. Even if that advice is unsolicited, wisdom uh, will consider it anyway and decide that it's worth heeding. You know, we had our annual church business meeting and annual board meeting uh, this past Tuesday. And um, I was thankful for the presence of my pastor who was there. And I tell everyone, everybody needs a pastor just because your pastor doesn't mean you don't need someone that you choose to submit yourself to and heed their counsel. Um, but our pastor, my pastor, uh, has served on our board for the past few years. And since the inception of our church, I have always had one person on our board who is a minister outside of our local church. And the reason why I do that. Of course, it's someone that I trust and have a great relationship with, but someone who can speak into my life and is comfortable doing so because I have given them that um, that permission to do so. Uh, but sometimes we're just too close to the situation, and it looks different from the inside than it does from the outside. And so I was thankful for him being in that meeting with us and offering his advice and counsel. And... Um, in this particular situation, it served as confirmation, but had it not, it would have been wisdom to have heard that other opinion um, and, and not depended solely on our own desires and our closeness to the situation. And so we need to be wise and listen to outside uh, sources in our situations at time. 
Proverbs 13 and 10 says, Pride only leads to arguments, but those who take advice are wise. And too often we think that we truly have all the answers. But even the people that we consider to be wise receive advice. That's how they grew to be so wise. So we all have room to grow. And let's put aside any prideful mindset in order to gain wisdom that comes from God. And God will use others to disseminate that wisdom to you. It won't necessarily all come to you in an audible voice or an internal prompting of the Spirit. But we want to gain wisdom and apply it to our lives, and it will make our lives better, and the lives of those around us will be blessed as well. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer today, praying for all these needs and believing uh, for the results. Jesus said that when you pray, believe that you receive those things that, that you ask. And I don't know about you this morning, but I'm not just here to call out some names and go through an exercise, but I believe that when we pray, that heaven stands at attention when we call upon the name of Jesus. And I believe that God is hearing and answering our prayers this morning. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we love you this morning. We're so thankful for your presence in our lives. We're thankful that we know you and that we know you in the power of your spirit. We pray today, God, that your will would be done in this prayer time, that your direction would come to us, that we would hear the voice of wisdom calling out in our lives today and giving us direction. We know that it comes from you, Lord. Help us to apply it correctly. We pray, God, your blessing upon this day. We give this day to you. We commit it to you, and we submit our will to your will. We are going to pray today, Lord, that your will would be done in earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We know, God, that you're the source of strength. You're the source of of nurturing in our lives and you're our very direction you're everything that we need and so we believe today god that you're providing for our needs according to your riches and glory hallelujah you're here today to forgive us of our failures to redirect us and we ask for that cleansing of our minds we die out to our own flesh today lord that we might do your will forgive us lord in those areas that we have failed to do that in the past and help us, God, to, to be mindful today of our need of submission to you. We pray today for healing, Lord, for Sister Beth, that you would minister your healing touch to those burn wounds that are healing slowly, God. We pray that that healing would begin to accelerate right now in Jesus' name. We pray for Judy's mom this morning as she's facing surgery in April, Lord, to remove this basal cell cancer is going to need skin grafting on her nose. We pray that everything would go well in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, for the unspoken requests that have been submitted today, for Regina's request and Peggy Sue's request, for the Vaughn family and for Judy's son today. We pray, God, comfort and peace for the Sawyer family and the Antioch church as they mourn Brother Sawyer's passing Hallelujah. We pray, God, for the spiritual needs in our families today and among our friends and co-workers. We pray, God, for Michelle Clark and her family, for Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer, for Judy's brother, Lewis. Lord, you see the need of salvation. Oh, God, move in their hearts. Draw them to yourselves, to yourself, Lord. Restore, we pray, uh, Lori Arbo's mother to the faith and to her family. We pray for Debbie's daughter, Jamie, and her family and for Debbie's niece today. God, we pray for Peggy and her family, for Caroline's family. We lift up Josiah, Lord, believing for your touch in his life. Touch Marsha Moore's family today, her children, her granddaughter. God, move in their lives. We pray for Jennifer and Brenda's family. We pray for the Storms family, God. Oh, have your way, God. We believe for great revival there. We pray today for Barbara Owens to receive salvation, for Haley and Rose and Evie and Connor and Carl, Lord, to be saved. We pray for Sylvia's family, for Tasha's husband, Adam, and Sister Heather, that they would dedicate their lives to you, Lord, and live for you. We pray for our job course students. Lord, open doors that we would be able to minister once again in that area. We pray for Pam's children and for Mark and Caitlin, for Beulah's family, for Grace, for Art, and for Terry's children today. 
We pray for all those who are struggling mentally and emotionally, those who are battling addiction today, God, those who are battling depression. In Jesus' name, we pray for Nathan. We pray for Patrick. We pray for Dalton today, God. We pray for Pastor Tipton as he's ministering to the homeless today. We pray for adults this weekend, Lord. Let his service be full of those he has, he has ministered to and those who have been fed in the natural through that ministry. Let them be fed spiritually, God, and receive from your table this weekend. In Jesus' name, we pray for Corbin, God, that you would move in his job situation. Lord, help him to navigate through the changes that are going on in his life. In Jesus' name, give him direction in this job interview. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, you would give him patience and endurance, guidance and blessing today. We pray for those battling COVID-19. We pray for uh, Ben Moore and for Reverend Paul and Darla Brochu. God, minister healing to them. We pray for those who are slow to recover from COVID. Brother Erickson and Andy Burnett, Donna Luttrell, Del Sifford, Pastor Wyatt, James Weiniger, Don Bowie, Gary and Donna, Catherine, and Sister Dorothy Cook. We believe for their complete healing today. We pray for the nursing home residents and shut-ins. We thank you, Lord, that in many of these nursing homes, they're now approaching herd immunity due to the vaccines. Lord, we thank you, God, for what you're doing among us. Hallelujah. Bless the Bible study in our local nursing home today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray for Brother and Sister Perkins. God, that you would strengthen them, minister healing and encouragement to them. We pray your hand of protection upon the students and the teachers and other staff members in our schools today. Hallelujah. Let your angels, Lord, encamp about round about those schools today, God, in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for those who have heart issues, for Gerald Hudson and Keegan, for Everett Hart, for missionary Robin Schutz's dad, for Brent Smith, for Ronald Clinton and Willow and my grandfather and baby Elsie. We pray, God, for Abram Page, this child born with GNA01 disorder, and these other children today with needs. Sophia needs a touch for her eyes. Abel needs deliverance from PKU syndrome. Magnolia needs healing. Ellie Mae, Lord, we pray, God, that you would touch that little child who's been in this terrible sledding accident. In Jesus' name, we pray for Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker, these children who are battling cancer. We pray for all these others who are battling cancer today. Touch Del Bishop and Phyllis Robinette, Edie Percival, Diane Escher, Versi Gibbs, Brother Anthony Trimble, Lisa Workman, Evelyn Marshall, David Harris, Brother Steve Williford, Christy Smith. We pray for Ari Bowers and for Brother Kirk as he goes through chemo. We pray for Claire and for Kim Stinson. We lift up Josh Soberg this morning and John Fitzgerald, Dwayne Lewis, Terry Adams' friend, Marsha Moore's family member, Wanda Barnes, Michael Boland, and Robert Wicks. We believe, God, for healing of cancer today. You are the one who is able to do the work, O oh God. We trust in you. We believe for Bonnie, God, for a good report. In Jesus' name, we pray for those who are battling diabetes. We pray for Jen Marlin as she needs healing of dystonia. We pray for Leslie Pride and Lana Taylor and for their caregivers, for these who are suffering with dementia. We pray for healing of Parkinson's disease today and reversal of effects of that disease. You see that need for Tim Workman and for Beulah today, for Russ and for my father. Oh, God, we pray for those who are battling with respiratory issues. Touch Robbie and Kendra today. Heal their breathing and their lungs, Lord. Heal Rue today, we pray. Hallelujah. Stretch forth your hand, oh God, and we will be saved. We believe, God, in your power today. We believe for Brother Marty Delot and Brother Riley March for healing of MS, healing of kidney problems for Shirley and for Charlotte today. We believe for healing of autoimmune disease on behalf of Sister Mara Sullivan. We pray, God, for Pastor Gorley today and for Marcia, Lord, that they would be healed of high blood pressure. We're thankful this morning for the good report from Marcia that she has no headache today, that she has no uh, high blood pressure this morning. And we take hold of that by faith and we believe for that healing, oh God. We pray for Terry and Michael with stomach problems today. We pray for Cheryl for her liver and stomach issues and her other organ issues as she battles infection in her body. 
We pray for Bobby Larmy, Lord, for healing of a blocked artery, for healing of aneurysm for Karen's father, for healing of shingles on behalf of Mary McPeak. In Jesus' name, we pray for J.R. Johnson, Lord, that his leg would begin to heal. We pray for all those that have problems with their bones and joints and with broken bones and they're recovering from surgeries. God, we believe for Shirley and Renee and Jenny and Karen's mother, for Linda Brown, for Britt Moore's mother, for Dorinda Shepherd. Lord, as they recover from these broken bones and from these musculoskeletal problems, Lord, that they're going to be made completely whole. We pray for Gary Shepherd, Lord, that he would be able to lose the weight that he needs before he can have surgery. We pray for Tammy Lawson, Britt Moore, and James Graham, and for Michael Parrott and for Terry Adams, all of these, uh, Lord, who need healing of their back today. We pray, God, that they would receive that touch even now. In Jesus' name, we release faith. Uh, hallelujah. We release the working of miracles and the gifts of healing into this atmosphere right now. Let your presence go where we can't go, God. Hallelujah. Move in these needs, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray for James Graham's family, for his grandfather on hospice right now, God. Move in that situation. We pray for Regina and Roxanne and Annette and Bonnie and for Ethan, Lord, for their health issues. We believe for full recovery from stroke for Nick and Allison. We pray, God, against any complications of pregnancy for Tasha and for Whitney and for Sally's daughter, for Beth Wheatley's daughter, Mindy, for Austin and Alyssa's unborn child that has a heart defect. We believe for divine healing in that situation. We pray for Matt and Michaela today, Lord, as they're trying to start their family. In Jesus' name, move on their behalf, God. And for all those who are dealing with family issues right now, we pray for Brother and Sister Woody's family, Lord, that you would bring comfort and healing and restoration to them. We pray, Lord, for Marcia's family situation, for Cheryl's family, for Debbie's daughters, Jessica and Jamie, Lord, that you would move in their relationships. We pray for Angela's family, that this court uh, proceeding would go favorably for her on Monday. Let your will be done. We're thanking you, God, for what you're doing in that family. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray, God, for Annette and Dave, that you would move in their marriage. We pray for grace today, God, for her friends, parents who are going through divorce. We pray you would move in that situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. We give you all the glory and the honor and the praise this morning for the work that you alone can do. And you alone deserve the credit for it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of prayer ministry this week. It's been a very special time uh, for me, and I trust that it has been for you as well. Let's gather back again uh, on Monday morning, and let's uh, come to intercede on behalf of these needs that are presented to us each and every day. And let's believe God that his will will ultimately be done in all of these situations. I will see you then, Lord willing, at 7.30 a.m.